Hello, this is What's Up With Your Principles. I'm Mr. Fee. This is... Miss Ralston. We want to start by saying welcome back to school. We hope everybody had a fantastic vacation. We're coming back relaxed, ready to get into April, May, and June as the weather starts Final to turn. Stretch. Yeah. Awesome. All right, so as the weather starts to turn, remember dress code. You guys love to hear about the dress code. Um, so we say to parents too, please just make sure you're aware of what, what our dress code is. Um, you know, excessive holes in the jeans. If you put your arms down in your, the hole is above your fingertips and the holes are too high on the jeans. Shorts can't be that short. Um, shirts are, cannot be crop tops, um, cannot be low cut. Uh, spaghetti straps are not allowed so please just be aware of the dress code also students if a teacher asks you to put on a different shirt or to zip your hoodie leave it that way please don't zip it for the for that period and then change it for the next period please just go with what's asked thank you uh, to continue on with that remember we do not open the halls of Cuba Rushford until 8 a.m. So prior to 8 a.m., you should not be in the halls. So if you get to school early, you are to go directly to the cafeteria. Do not go to your locker. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Monopoly reference. Um, please go right to the cafeteria, get your lunch, sit at a table, and then at 8 a.m. we then disperse. Um, so please make sure you are not walking to your lockers before 8 a.m. All right, exciting. We are right now in the midst of a ton of interviews, new hires for next year, um, which always, you know, gets, we get a little nervous. Like, how are we going to replace these amazing people who are retiring? So, um, so far, we have hired three new people. Miss, Mrs. Sharana Swarthout will be our new high school counselor. Mr. Mark Levine will be tech education. And Miss Jessica Rate will be high school math. So, We'll obviously announce them again, um, you know, at the end of the summer and into next school year, but wanted to let everybody know we're, we're in the process. Um, thank you. Middle school students, there is a middle school honor roll assembly on April 29th at 8.20 a.m. So be excited for that. Look forward to that. And then that night, starting at 7 p.m., we have middle school movie night. And they will be showing, family movie night, thank you, and they will be showing Big Hero 6. Hope to see you there. Also, with that, April 29th, we chose that date for the middle school family movie night because it's the end of state testing. So, computer-based math state testing is April 27th and 28th. That's next Wednesday and Thursday. Um, so, that will be happening those days. And then, celebrate the end of it by coming to movie night. Free popcorn, a great movie, great time. Great. Uh, next, last one, I just want to reiterate, it's been in effect now for about three weeks, but I want to make sure that we say it on what's up with your principles, uh, our bathroom policy. So, we would like kids to use the bathroom the three minutes in between periods, right? So if you're going from one classroom to the other, you have three minutes. If you can use the restroom, please do. Once you are in class, uh, it's at teacher discretion, and it is one man, one female at a time. So, just make sure you talk to your kids about going to, to the class and then asking the teacher and that requires an e-hall pass for them to use the restroom one at a time. I was going to say that wasn't your last one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Science guy, bald for bucks, senior lock-in. There is a big day happening here on Friday, May 13th. So Friday, May 13th, save the date. 10 o'clock a.m., middle school students will have an assembly with the science guy from America's Got Talent in our auditorium. And then that night at 6 o'clock, all families are welcome. 6 o'clock p.m. in our auditorium, the science guy from America's Got Talent. Bring your family, bring your kids, bring your friends. Bald for Bucks is also happening at 2 p.m. on May 13th. Shout out to the teen leadership group who's been organizing that, to everybody who's been raising money for our Bald for Bucks teams. We blow it out of the water every single year, so thanks for helping us continue to do that. That is Friday, May 13th, 2 p.m. in our gym. And then Friday, May 13th at uh, 8 p.m. is the senior lock-in. Seniors, you need a permission slip for that event, so do not forget the permission slip. Parents, your seniors need a permission slip for their senior lock-in on Friday, May 13th at 8 p.m. So if you haven't signed that permission slip yet, you might want to ask your senior about it so that we have those in and they can participate. The important reason being is it is over at 1 a.m. So at 1 a.m. we will be dismissing from school. Um, all right, sports. A couple of things with sports. Number one, physicals, right, which will now be in effect for next year. We're having the doctor come in on 518 and 525. So on May 18th, 
from 8.30 until 12, your students that are gonna be athletes next year can go and get their physical. And also, on May 25th, from 12 to 2.30, they can go down to the nurse's office and get a physical for the next year. Just be done with it, so that way when you sign up for a fall sports, parents, you don't have to worry about a physical, it's already taken care of. The other thing is, obviously, it was snowing earlier this week, so a lot of stuff got canceled. I know the weather's supposed to be nice moving into next week, but please continue to check the athletic updated calendar. It'll be on Facebook. Um, we will try to send out text and whatnot when there's cancellations. Hopefully the coaches are reaching out, but the schedule just gets hectic now, so please be flexible with the weather and other schools. Just want to thank everybody, parents, students, everyone. We've been having a great uh Great second part of the year, and so it's, it's going to come fast and furious to the end. Seniors and parents who are probably starting to get a lot of questions about graduation, we are working on a pamphlet that's going to come home with all senior information for you, all the information about graduation weekend, cap and gown pictures, all of that. So that will be coming. Um, thanks for everybody for everything. And, Mr. Fee, ready for your life lesson? I am. Um, the life lesson this week is a very simple one. When you look at anything in life, right, that no one has done, the per people in charge of it have been seen as crazy. So when you talk about the Wright brothers with flying, when that was the concept of humans don't have wings, right, when you talk about iPhones and the transformation, how can you get a computer to be a phone? All of these people were seen as crazy at one point and then it became the norm. So you have to be true in your convictions. You also have to trust your own instincts and insides to get to obtain that goal. I think it's important for everybody to know, if you believe hard enough, you're gonna be called crazy along your mission, all right, or along the drive. It is important that you don't lose sight of what the end goal is. And those people that called you crazy may end up being in your airplane, or using your smartphone, or following your YouTube channel. But you have to have the conviction to follow through on what you think is important in life. Because all of those people were doubted at one part, or at one time. That is the hard part, is people like to doubt, but you have to be true in your convictions to get through it to the other end. Excellent. Have a great week.